Hi everyone, this is Freya and welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little different for you. This is an 8-bit barrel shifter I built with Coriarno. It's a really, really nice design. It takes 4 ticks to shift any 8-bit number by up to 8 bits and it can shift in both directions at the same time. It also uses vertical busing, which can make it effortless to fit into a CPU. Assuming the rest of it uses vertical busing too. So let me demonstrate what that all means. Let's take a binary number, say... 1011100. Now let's say we wanted to shift this number two bits to the right. We would get 00101101. Sure enough, the barrel shifter outputs this correctly. Now let's say we wanted to shift the same number four bits to the left, but oh wait, that would actually destroy the first four bits since they're being shifted out of range. So let's say you actually wanted these four bits to just loop around to the back of the number instead. You can do that with a spell shifter. So let's enable the left shift, but notice that I'm leaving the right shift enabled at the same time. Now let's shift this number 4 bits to the left and 4 bits to the right simultaneously. So now for our output we get 01001011. Cool. I've actually already used this thing in a CPU, so if I just fly over you can see it right here next to the ALU. Now, this CPU is still a work in progress, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how you might be able to fit the spiral shifter inside one of your own CPUs. The great thing about it is since it's only 4 ticks, you could easily use it in a 6 tick CPU. Even if you have repeaters going into the input lines and repeaters at the output lines. So, I won't be making a tutorial for this thing, but what I will be doing is I'll be leaving a schematic download in the description below. You can also feel free to visit my plot here in the open Redstone Engineers server. The IP will be in the description below. All you need to do is type the command slash p space h space freyadin, and it should be very near to where you get teleported to. Anyways, that's all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you all in the next one. Bye!